hello everyone welcome to the channel in this video we are going to have a look at zamba 2 7 billion the thing is that we all know about transformer based models and transformer architecture because that has been the main architecture behind all of these ai success in language modeling over the course of last two years now we have alternate of these transformer architecture such as state space models or SSMs which include Mamba that has recently been shown to match or outperform transformers at small to medium scale. I already have covered a lot of SSM based models on the channel over the last uh, couple of years so please search the channel if you are interested in more detail. The thing with these SSM models is that these family of, of models are actually quite closely related and develop a rich framework of theoretical connections between SSMs and various of attention connected through various decomposition of a well studied class of structured matrices. That is why I am quite excited to see this Zamba to 7 billion because these SSM models are quite good. But still the transformer architecture or transformer based models are ruling the world because they are very performant lightweight and that is where it is so good to see that an alternative of transformer is emerging because more competition more choice means that more cost reduction and more options to get the things done so in this video we are going to install this zamba 2 7 billion on our local system and then we will test it out on various benchmarks before i give you more detail let me give a huge shout out to mast compute who are sponsoring the vm and GPU for this video. If you are looking to rent a GPU on good prices, I will drop the link to their website in video description. Plus, I am also going to give you a coupon code of 50% discount on range of GPUs, so do check them out. Coming back to this Zephyr, uh, Zyphra Zamba 2 model, there are few really cool things happening here. So, as I said, the model creator is Zyphra. And this Zamba 2 7 billion is a state of the art small language model. At the 7 billion scale, they have outperformed the leading models of Mistral, Google's Gemma, and Meta's Llama 3 series in both quality and performance. Zamba 2 7 billion is a leading model for running on device and on consumer GPU as well for many enterprise applications which require a powerful but compact and efficient model for natural language tasks and if you go through some of the benchmarking information on this site you will see that it has already achieved state-of-the-art evaluation benchmark performance <clears throat> and superior inference efficiency compared to currently leading 7 billion models such as Mistral, Gemma and Lava. It is extremely inference efficient and it has achieved 25% faster time to first token which is a 20% improvement in tokens per second and a significant reduction in memory usage. Before I give you more architectural detail, let's also try to get this installed as we move forward where you can see that I am running Ubuntu 22.04 and I have one GPU card NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GB of VRAM. We will also see its VRAM consumption as we install the model. Let's create a virtual environment with Conda and if you don't know what Conda is please search the channel I already have covered it in great detail let's wait for it to get activated that is done now another thing which we need to do which is different from the transformer architecture when we install the prerequisites that instead of a plain transformer library we install transformers underscore Zamba 2 library because that is a fork of transformers but it is geared towards the Mamba architecture. Now when we say Mamba architecture this gives you a bit of information around a Mamba architecture as I was referring to earlier. So Zamba 27 billion utilizes and extends original Zamba hybrid SSM attention architecture. The core Zamba architecture consists of a backbone of Mamba layer which is a state space model interleaved with one or more shared attention layer, one shared attention in Zamba 1, two in Zamba 2. 
This attention has shared width to minimize the parameter cost of the model and concatenating the original model embedding of the input to this attention block improves performance due to better maintenance of information across depth of the model. The Zamba 2 architecture also applies low rank adaptation projection matrices to the shared MLP to gain some additional expressivity in each block and allows each block to specialize slightly to its own unique position while keeping the additional parameter overhead very small. And that is how it becomes quite performant. And you can read further detail on their uh, model page and I will drop the link to it in video's description. Okay, let's go back to our terminal and see what is happening. It is still working. It is quite huge. So you just have to be patient there a bit. Let's wait for it. Everything is installed now and that is going to take a few minutes. So be patient there. Next up, let's launch our Jupyter Notebook and then we will go from there. And the Jupyter Notebook is launched. Let's import the libraries and then download the model and its tokenizer. And you can see that I'm going with the instruction tune version of this model. And the tokenizer is downloaded and now it is downloading this model here and you can ignore these warnings. Also, this model is present on Hugging Face and you can check it out on this Hugging Face repo. Let's wait for it to get downloaded. There are four shards of it. And the model is downloaded and also it is loaded on to our GPU. Next up, let's do the inference. Now, if you look at this turning prompts, let me explain what is happening here. So in this one, the user and the assistant, assistant is the AI model and user is the end user. They are taking turns and by taking turns, they are setting the state, setting the context right. And then that is how this assistant or this Zamba 2 model makes the inference so efficient. So you see in the first turn, user is saying in one season, a flower blooms three times. In one year, there is one blossoming season. How many times do two flowers bloom in two years? Please include your logic. So, and then we have given it an example that in one season, a flower blooms three times. In one year, there is one blossoming season. Therefore, in two years, there are two blooming seasons. So this is the example of the logic and then the answer. And then user, the sec, the user is asking how many times do the two flowers blossom in three years? It's a, it has changed. And then we are tokenizing that text input. We are converting it to, to the tokens and then model is generating the output and we are decoding it back. So let me run it. And the model has come back with the response and look at the efficiency of inference. It says, so this is again the first time user says in one season a flower blooms three times. And then assistant is saying in one season a flower blooms three times. And this is the actual one which we asked towards the very end. And you can see the answer that in one year, there is one blooming season. In three years, there are three blooming seasons. Since each flower blooms three times in one season, in three seasons, each flower will bloom nine times. Since there are two flowers, the total number of times they will bloom in three years is 18. How good is that? Very nice. Okay, let's try out another one. Now in this second one, we are asking it a bookshelf has, and it has already answered me. A bookshelf has five shelves and each shelf can hold eight books. How many books can the bookshelf hold in total? Please include your logic. And then there is a sample of it. And in the turn two, we're asking if the bookshelf is currently empty, how many books can be added? So if you go down here and if you just look at the last one, it says that bookshelf can hold a total of 40 books. If it is currently empty, that it means it can hold 40 more books. How good is that? Let's also quickly check how much VRAM right now we are consuming as the model is loaded onto our GPU. This is just a rough estimate. So see, you see it is taking around more than 15 gig of VRAM. So you would need around 16 GPU of VRAM in order to run it. If you run the full model on a GPU. Okay, let's try out one more prompt. In this example, we are asking it a group of friends want to share some candy equally. If they have 48 pieces of candy and there are eight friends, how many pieces of candy will each friend get? Please include your logic. And then there is an assistant turn. 
we are just giving it as an example and the actual question is if four more friends join how many pieces of candy will each friend get now there you go it says four candies each friend very nice spot on so you can already see that the reasoning is really quite optimal let's check a coding related question so i'm asking it a loop iterates five times per second if the program runs for three seconds how many times will the loop iterate in total please include your logic and then assistant is just saying to find the total number of iterations multiply the number of iterations per second and all that stuff and the question here is from the user if the loop iterates five times per second and the program runs for two minutes how many iterations will it have and it says first convert the two minute to second very nice then multiply the number of iterations per second by the total seconds and there you go so there are 600 iterations cool stuff okay so let's ask a math question now so in this math question i'm asking it a book cost 15 dollar if a 10 percent discount is applied how much will you pay for three books and then assistant uh, we have given it an example and the actual question is if the same discount is applied how much will you pay for five books it says five books 67 dollar 50 cents amazing stuff so you see the quality of model is as good as they have set it on the models card and i'm very very excited to see that an alternate of transformers architecture is has started to perform as well as any other model which is quite heartening so hopefully we will see more models like this soon uh, not only in the text space but also maybe in the vision who knows maybe uh, some other arch uh, architectures too so stay tuned i hope that you enjoyed it before i let you go also let me introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are agent ql agent ql is a query language for extracting data from web pages quickly easily and at scale you can use the python sdk to run your queries in production using playwright and use the browser-based debugger for optimizing queries in real time on any web page. Agent QL is a robust alternative to fragile XPath and DOM CSS selectors as it uses the power of AI to analyze the page structure to find the data you are looking for. So that's it guys. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you're already subscribed, please share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thank you for watching.